Compounds Tech Thoughts. Today is the 31st of March, and we are here with Inge Haydorn and Johan Rosland for our weekly market roundup. In today's episode, Inge and Johan will discuss the latest updates in the market, followed by a closer look at Micron ahead of their report, as well as some news on Activision. Over to them. Yes, uh, the market this week, as is Wednesday only, so it's a short week, the Easter week. Uh, it's been once again a little bit struggle uh, to find uh, really uh, a path forward. Uh, we're jumping between interest rate worries and looking forward to, to the Q1 numbers. So it's a little bit of volatility, but we're not really getting anywhere. I, th- I think that's really the read on, on the market for the moment. Uh, so quite stable. Yeah, and my take on the market is also that we're, we're back flat this year for the tech index, but looking at the, um, the earnings on the big tech um, with the multiples currently, they are trading pre, at pretty interesting levels. So the P ratio cash adjusted for Facebook and Google is around 20, uh, 25. That's, uh, that's even lower than uh, Deere and Walmart that is trading around 30. So um, industrials and the reopening stocks are uh, starting to, to look pretty, pretty high, high valued and, and big tech is, is uh, starting to look cheap. On Micron, I think that's an interesting report that is coming tonight. Yeah, uh, we don't have an opposition in Micron, uh, and, but Micron is a good read into the marketplace as it's had such a wide uh, so that supply. So it supplies into almost everything uh, on, on, on the memory side. So it's a good read through on, on the momentum in the marketplace and also the capacity constraints has been in the market. If that's hurt them also, not on the side, on the, on, on the memory side, but more the fact of you have slowdowns in general due to the fact that people can't get the components. But it's a really good read through for us uh, on where the market is heading. And uh, DRAM is probably, and NAND is probably the most two volatile products, the memory side uh, in the marketplace. So a positive read there really shows a positive sign for the semiconductor market. I think that's the way we, we look at it. And we will also look at the CapEx numbers, given we, are, we like the vendors a lot. Interesting. And, and beside cloud and digital platform and, and semis, we're also following the, the gaming and esports sector very cro- closely. And we have some updates there on Activision. Yes, um, they uh, changed the CFO. Uh, so now they have the former CIA uh, officer as CEO. Uh, uh, so it's internal. He's coming from Blizzard. So it's not uh, also a major step for them. But he also gave us an update, which is quite interesting. And the market took it a uh, slightly, slightly negative yesterday. The stock was down 1.8%. But I-, I think the devil is in the details here. They said they will meet or exceed their guidance for Q1. Q1 to Q1 is still quite an easy comparison due to COVID. But more importantly, remember two years ago, uh, um, uh, one year ago, sorry, Modern Warfare was a big, big hit. So it's really tough comparison. And Cold War has not been as a big hit. Uh, So it's still an interesting read that they beat. uh, uh, So I I think it's a positive read. And also the fact that they haven't released anything big during the quarter, which will materially impact sales um, so far. But we will talk about one thing that could impact in the next quarter instead. Yeah, this old uh, animal that uh, Activision uh, released back in 96, I think on uh, PlayStation. Now they have left their their, uh, mobile studio King making a revival only for mobile that is called Crash uh, on the Run. And this game has been downloaded 25 million times in less than a week. So it's a really cool, uh, uh, cool number that they have uh, really captured those old players that like this game and the new players. So that, that shows the value to me in, in owning strong, even if they're old, uh, IPs. Uh, what's your take on this, thing? I totally agree. And I, I think it's interesting because whatever you think about King, what they have been good at is advertising and monetizing their products. So I think this will be really, really interesting. It's the fastest growing uh, running game and, and of all time. Tomb Raider was the number one before. So this is the fastest growing game at, at all time. But also the, 
interesting thing is that Tom Brady wasn't really good in monetizing it. And um, I think King will be much, much better in monetizing it. So we'll definitely see some effects of this uh, going into, into Q2. And maybe this can sh change the focus of, of King that uh, investors isn't just looking at uh, uh, their old games, but really seeing that they can create new, uh, really good games. Great, I think that's um, it for this week and we will uh, we'll say happy Easter to you all and see you next week. Thank you very much.